I like historical episodes in principle, in the sense that I like the idea of Doctor Who going into the past. My main problem with many historical episodes in the past, however, no pun intended, is that they include too many science fiction concepts. I know Doctor Who is a science fiction show and they're always going to include some sort of a science fiction concept. But this is why I really like Vincent and the Doctor, because the Crefeus isn't the main element of the story. It also works well with Vincent's depression. It works brilliantly, I think. I think that is a historical episode where there is a science fiction element and it kind of complements the historical elements of the story. With that in mind, I think I enjoyed Demons of the Punjab because the Kisar, whatever they were called, the, the, the alien things, weren't the, the villains. They weren't the monsters, and I liked that. The plot spent quite a lot of time focusing on the partition of India and Pakistan. It focused a lot on that, and I like that. I always have wanted a pure historical episode of Doctor Who where the threat isn't actually an alien, there's no alien besides the Doctor in it. Um, but we haven't had that for well over 30 years now, so I don't think it's going to happen anytime soon. I've kind of accepted that there will always be science fiction concepts in historical episodes, and I think this is an historical episode where it's been well dealt with. So I liked the historical aspect of it. I, I think it was interesting, but what about the characters? The Doctor's great in this episode. She's very much a central part of the plot. She doesn't fall into the background, but this episode is very much about Yaz. Throughout this entire series, Yaz has been Kind of the rubbish companion. Mandip Gill has given us a great performance with great range, but her character is a bit flat compared to Ryan and Graham. In this episode, however, she has a lot more depth to her. She's much more interesting as a character. She's still not as interesting as Ryan or Graham, but it's getting there. And this episode really was the first episode where we really get to know Yaz as a person, and how she reacts to things, and also her background. Obviously, with that in mind, Ryan and Graham do sort of slip into the background somewhat, but I'm not too bothered about that because they have had basically the rest of the series to be fairly prominent in the stories. The location filming in the episode was also very good. It was filmed in Spain, I think, and it looks fantastic. I've never been to Pakistan and I've never been to India, so I can't say if this looks particularly accurate, but it looked pretty at the very least. This episode was also, thankfully, quite serious. It wasn't ridiculously light in tone, but it wasn't depressingly dark like Rosa. I liked Rosa, but I don't want every historical episode to be like that. Demons of the Punjab was good. It was a good episode, it has some serious, you know, sort of observations on colonialism and partition of India and Pakistan and also tensions between Muslim and Hindu communities. It doesn't go too far into that, because obviously some people might find it a bit boring, but I think it works. Some of the historical explanations are a tad on the nose, but I think they work. However, I do have some negative thoughts on Demons of the Punjab. For one thing, the aliens, who I can't really remember the name of, didn't need to be in the story at all. You could have removed them and the story would have been pretty much exactly the same. Now you could argue that it's there for the children side of the audience, but I don't think that's really a valid argument. You could have removed the aliens entirely and the story would have been broadly the same. In fact, it would have been nearly identical to the one we actually got. And the story, despite dealing with some pretty serious themes and being pretty serious overall, was pretty good, I'll give it that, but I didn't feel it was amazing and really powerful until probably the last 5 or 10 minutes, by which stage I knew the episode was wrapping up and it was too little too late. The rest of the episode is alright, it's pretty good, it looks very pretty, great performances, but the plot's kind of meandering and isn't that interesting. It's really the final 5-10 minutes where the episode really comes alive, but unfortunately it's too little too late. Next week is called Kablam, and it stars Lee Mack, to name but a few uh, actors who are guest starring in Kablam, and it's basically on this galactic, galactic sort of factory shop type place, and it looks a bit crap if I'm brutally honest. The episode does look a bit crap, 
So we'll see how that goes. Hopefully I'm proven wrong. If you liked this video and you are interested in what else I do, why not check out my other videos that I've made so far? And if you're really interested, why not click subscribe and hit the bell so you never miss a video?